Okay, let's talk banjo a little bit. Here's a banjo. A banjo has a fifth string nut. Uh, I've got a capo on this one, but that little white thing right there is the fifth string nut. And basically what it is, it's a little round piece of bone that the fifth string runs through. Now when you capo a banjo up, you have to also capo up the fifth string so that you don't over tighten it and break it. What I did on this banjo is I put a railroad spike right here, which allows me to, when I fret this up to the fifth fret, I can hook that under that railroad spike. And it is the equivalent of a banjo nut. However, it lowers the string down so that when I'm playing it here, the string is lower than the other strings, which doesn't bother me a lot, but it's just enough where it makes it not seem perfect. What I've come up with, and I've never seen anybody do this before, so I guess this is one of my inventions. I'm going to take me another banjo nut. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to sink it down in the wood lower than the string so that when the string isn't uh, hooked under this railroad spike, it doesn't touch it. That way when I play it open with no uh, capo, it won't matter. But what I can do is I can slide the string through the groove in the nut and hook it under that railroad spike and I will, in effect, have created another banjo neck, up, another banjo nut up the neck, which I can adjust higher and lower depending on where I want to put my capo. I think that's a cool solution, and I have drilled my hole. I don't know if you can even see it because I don't know if this camera will go that close, but I've drilled my hole already, and I've tested my piece of bone. I use a little piece of round bone for a nut, and I've tested it, and it goes in there low enough so it doesn't interfere. So basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to notch the top of it and then I'm going to put it in place and uh, and I think that will do the trick. I believe that will work. Okay, so I got my little coping saw and I got this secured in the vise so it shouldn't wiggle and I want to cut a groove right in the center of it. It's a pretty good looking groove if you ask me. Okay, let's go put it in the banjo.
Okay, now that did the trick. Uh, so I've got my my railroad spike right here. I've got my little nut right here. My nut does not touch the string when I'm playing it uh, without a capo. And when I do capo it, I can hook it right into that nut and right under that uh, railroad spike, and it serves as a pretty good capo from there. So that should be just awesome. So the other thing I, other thing I want to do, I want to scoop this neck, which means taking it off, putting it on the grinder, and grinding it down by oh about a quarter of an inch. And I've got a little bit of uh, work I want to do back here. I want to make me a pretty little heel cap to go on there. So. I don't know if I'll do that today or not. I might. Let's see. I might have time to do that. So that involves kind of pulling everything apart, which uh, it's a good time to do it.